Hi, and welcome to this Copper Maths primary video on coordinates. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to plot coordinates, and we're going to be looking at how to write down uh, coordinates for points that have been plotted for us. Now, before we do, I'm just going to recap some key things that might be useful. So first of all, this is a set of axes. The horizontal line is called the x-axis, and the vertical line is called the y-axis. The x-axis starts off at the point zero, goes one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Sometimes it does go to the left and go minus one, minus two, minus three, and we'll look at that later on in the video. Also, the y-axis starts at zero, goes up vertically, one, two, three, and so on. And then sometimes it does go down minus one, minus two, minus three, and again, we'll look at that later on in the video. This point here is very important. It's the point zero, zero. It's called the origin, and it has a little o, um, letter O beside it. And that is the point um, where you start out whenever you're looking at coordinates. So it's a very important point. Now, this little saying is quite important. It's one which my students actually taught me whenever I was, I was in school. I, I didn't sort of know this, but they shared it with me, and I quite like it. And it's quite useful whenever you're looking at coordinates. And it's called along the corridor, up the stairs. So whenever you're plotting a coordinate, you go to the origin. You go along the corridor first of all, so in other words, you go horizontally, and then you go up the stairs, and so then you go vertically. So in other words, you go left or right to begin with, and then you go up or down, and that's just quite a useful way to remember how to plot coordinates so you don't get mixed up. Okay, so let's have a look at a question. So the first question says, plot the point four one. So we're going to go to the origin, and we're going to go along horizontally. So we're going to go four horizontally. So we're going to go across to the number four. So one, two, three, four, and then we're going to go up one. So that would be the point there four one. Okay, so you go along the corridor, up the stairs. That's it. Okay, next, plot the point two, three. So again, you go to the origin. We're gonna go two across. So we're gonna go to the right two. And then we're gonna go up the stairs. So we're gonna go vertically up three to here. So that would be the point there, two, three. Next, plot the point zero, four. So again, go to the origin. Because the first number this time is zero, we don't go along anything, so we just stay here. And then we go up four. So we go up four, and that would be the point there, zero, four. Okay, next. This time we've been asked to plot the point one, zero. So again, you go to the origin. The first number is one, so you go across one. Zero means you're not gonna go up or down, so that would be the point there, one, zero. Okay, so that's some points plotted for coordinates that have been given to us. Now what we're going to do is we're going to write down coordinates for points that have been plotted on the grid for us. So this point here, the question says write down the coordinates for the point shown. So the first thing I would say is put down the, uh, the brackets and put the little comma, just because sometimes people forget those and you would lose a mark in an exam or a test for that. It's very important to have the, the brackets and the comma. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the origin. You go across one and up three. So that would be the coordinate one, three. Next, this point here, so again, go to the origin, you go across five and up six, so it's the point five, six. Okay, and finally, this uh, coordinate here, again, go to the origin, we go across three, we don't go up or down, so the coordinate would be three along the corridor and zero, and that's it. Okay, so now let's have a look at some coordinates when we have uh, negative numbers as well. So this is then another set of axes which you might see. Again, it's got the x-axis and the y-axis. And the horizontal line, the x-axis, it starts at zero. To the right, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, and so on. You might recognize that from number lines. And to the left, it goes minus one, minus two, number, minus three, and so on. So it's, it's sort of just a bit like a number line. Again, you've got your, the origin in the middle. And then we've got the y-axis. So the y-axis, again, starts at zero and goes up one, two, three, four, five, and down minus one, minus two, minus three, and so on. I sort of like sort of recognize that a bit like a thermometer, but again, you can see number lines like that too sometimes as well. And again, whenever we're plotting these co uh, coordinates, we're gonna use the saying along the corridor, up the stairs. Now along the corridor could be to the right or to the left, depending on if it's a positive or a negative. If it's a positive number, you go to the right. If it's a negative number, you go to the left. And then the other bit, up the stairs, well, it means you could go up or down. If it's a positive number, you go up. If it's a negative number, you go down. Okay, so let's have a look at some questions. So the first one, plot the point five, one. So again, we go to the origin. It says five along the corridor. Now it's positive. So we go along to the number five and then it has the number one. So because it's again positive, we're going to go up one. So that would be the point five, one. You can test it by just going five and one. And as you can see, it's there at the point five, one. Next. Plot the point minus three, four. So again, go to the origin. Minus three means uh, three along the corridor. Because it's minus, it will be to the left. You can see there's the minus three there. And then four means we're gonna go up four. So we're gonna go up four to here. So that will be the point there, minus three, four. 
Next, 1 minus 2. So again, we go to the origin, 1 along the corridor, so it's a positive, so we go to the 1 to the right there. And minus 2 will mean 2 down this time. So 1, 2, and that will be the point there, 1 minus 2. Okay, and next, minus 5, minus 3. So again, go to the origin, minus 5 will be 5 to the left there, to the minus 5. And the minus 3 will be 3 down, so we're going to plot the point there, minus 5, minus 3. Okay, next one, 0 minus 2. So again, we go to the origin. 0 means 0 along the corridor, so we just stay here. And then minus 2 will mean 2 down, so that will be the point there, 0 minus 2. Okay, this time we've been asked to plot the coordinate minus 4, 0. So again, we go to the origin. We're going to go minus 4 along the corridor, so we're going to go to the minus 4 here. And then 0 means 0 up or down, so we just plot the point there at minus 4, 0. Okay, this time we've been asked to write down the coordinates for the point shown. So we've got this point here. So from the origin, it's 2 to the right, so 2 and 4 up, so that is the point 2, 4. Right, our next point is here. So again, we go to the origin, it's 3 to the right, so that's 3. And then it's 1 down, so that's then going to be minus 1. Our next point is here. So again, we go to the origin. We're going four to the left this time, so it's gonna be minus four. And then it's four up, so then it's the point four. So it's minus four, four. So minus four, four. And our last uh, question, write down the coordinates for the point shown. So we've got this point here. So if we go to the origin, it's four to the left. So it's gonna be minus four. And then it's two squares down, so that's minus two. So that would be the point minus four, minus two. And that's it.